Here's how to install Lightmatica 1.21.10 for Minecraft so you could have the Schematics mod or the Lightmatica mod in your game. Let's go. Okay, so the first step to download Lightmatica is to click the second link in the description, which is our quick guide in case this video is too fast for you. You don't have to read through this. If you want to go straight to the point, all you have to do is go down to step one and press on Mod Rinth. That is going to redirect you to Mod Rinth page. And in here, we're going to select game version. And of course, we're going to select 1.21.10. And we're going to go ahead and download that file for Lightmatica. After downloading Lightmatica, we need to download Malilip. So I want you to go back to that second link in the description and scroll a little bit down until you see the Malilip area in here and then go ahead and click on Mod Rinth. That is going to redirect you to the Malilip page and we're going to select 1.21.10 just like we did before and we're going to go ahead and download it from here. Now, if you struggle to find Malilip in the article, which you shouldn't, you could always click on Lightmatica and then click on the file that you downloaded and then select Malilip from here. Now, after we downloaded Malilip and Lightmatica, if you already have Fabric 1.21.10 installed, all you have to do is add these mods into your mods folder and you're done. As long as you have the Fabric API, you're done. You're done with this video. But if you don't have fabric then let's go ahead and do that next click on the third link in the description that's our quick article on how to solve fabric in case this video is too fast for you but if you want to go straight to the point go down to step one press on fabric that is going to redirect you to this page where we're going to hit download universal jar that'll begin the download for the installer of fabric now just before we finish we need to download one more file and that is the fabric api that's going to be linked down below in the description fourth link fabric api this is a requirement for lightmatica and once you're over here you're going to select game version 1.21.10 and you're going to go ahead and download the most recent one and now we're finally ready to start installing everything but now let's go ahead and place these four files in our desktop you can find those files here on your recent download history or within the default downloads folder of your computer all you have to do if you have them here on your history is just drag and drop them into your desktop that is going to make our life way easier now with these four files in our desktop it's very important that you have closed your minecraft game as well as your minecraft launcher and that you have played minecraft 1.21.10 at least once on your computer once you've done that go ahead and double click on the fabric installer file File. this is a jar file so once you double click on it it's going to open as such as a fabric installer and in here of course we're going to select 1.21.10 by the way if the installer didn't open don't freak out i'm going to teach you how to fix that in just a second but go ahead and select 1.21.10 if it did open and then hit install and like i was saying if it doesn't open i'm going to leave you an article down below in the description on how to install java 21 but pretty much you just download it install it and this is a requirement when modding minecraft especially any minecraft above minecraft 1.21 so obviously 1.21.10 applies to that so once you install java 21 you'll be able to install all the mods without any issues and if you had no troubles opening the fabric installer then you're good now once fabric has been installed let's go ahead and press ok here and we could close the fabric installer and now we could even delete the fabric installer from our desktop because we don't need it anymore and that will leave us with three files the fabric api lightmatica and malilip fabric now what we need to do is add these files into our mods folder let me show you how to access the mod folder go ahead and open your minecraft launcher and once the minecraft launcher opens if you install fabric properly you should see it selected here automatically as it is in my case but we're not going to hit play just yet because we need to add the mods for that we're going to head over to installations and in here we're going to make sure we have modded selected because without modded you actually won't see fabric in here and once you see fabric hover over it and press where it says open installations folder that is going to open a folder that contains a lot of files but we are looking for a specific folder called mods in here m-o-d-s and as you can see my mods folder is right here but if you don't have a mods folder and i'm actually going to delete mine all you have to do is create a new folder and name it mods. So hit new folder and then name it M-O-D-S, mods. Now go ahead and open this mods folder app and it's probably an empty folder now. And you might guess the next step, we're going to add these files from our desktop into here, like Marika, Malilip, and the Fabric API. If you're going to add any other mods in here, make sure they are compatible with Fabric as well as with Minecraft 1.21.10 or you'll have a crash, okay? Now, once you have these files in here, you're pretty much ready to use like Marika. Close this folder in here, the mods folder, head back into the Minecraft launcher, and then go ahead and launch Fabric with Minecraft, okay? If you open the regular Minecraft version, you won't see like Marika. So make sure you open Fabric. Now, while like Marika opens, if you want to support the channel and get an amazing discount with Apex Hosting, the first 50 people to use the first link in the description will get 35% off when making your own Java server. Apex Hosting actually supports over 300 mod packs and they have locations all around the world so you don't have to worry about lagging and again you'll be supporting the channel and and getting a great deal yourself. First 50 people actually only so I will take advantage of that deal on the first link because they usually run out pretty fast. Now once Minecraft opens it's going to look totally normal as your regular Minecraft game but now it says fabric down here and if we launch a single player world you will see that we now have Lightmatica and you could access Lightmatica by pressing M once the world loads. If you press M, you could access the Lightmatica menu here where you have the schematic placements, the schematic manager and all of that. Now there is an additional mod, which is an optional mod. It's called the Lightmatica printer, which I'm gonna leave linked down below in the description. 
that you could add into your mods folder if you want that printing ability that Lamatica has. So I'm going to leave that in the description in case you wanted to add it in here. But pretty much you have Lamatica working now. I don't really know how to use Lamatica very properly, but I know how to install it. And that's what I taught you in this video. If this video helped you out, guys, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.